Hey, it's your TC Josie. In this video, I'll be going over Google Drive and all the wonderful things within it. Make sure to like and subscribe if it's your first time. I will be putting up my docs video next week. Um, and make sure to stay to the end because I will be sharing a tip that you will not regret. Let's hop in. All right, so some of you are probably thinking, what the heck is Google Drive and why do I need it? So um, Google Drive is a free cloud storage solution. So you can basically put this here and access it anywhere in the world through your phone uh, by going to drive.google.com. You can access all of your files. For work, this is where I put everything. I don't put anything on my personal desktop because I want to be able to access these things on my phone wherever I am. So uh, to start, I wanted to kind of go over the pricing really quick. You do get 15 gigabytes for free, um, but it's actually super cheap if you do uh, run out of space. So for $20 a year, you can get 100 gigabytes and 200 gigabytes for $30 a year um, or $2.99 a month. And um, that's actually super cheap. I mean, if you're going over, you have a lot of things going on it's totally worth the money to have everything in one place that you can access from anywhere. So the next great thing about Google Drive is you can actually have um, things like Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, um, and they actually have something called Forms on here as well. It's Google's version of it, um, but is absolutely amazing. You can do pretty much the same exact thing and you can add those documents. They also have templates, so you can choose from certain templates. And I'm not going to go into details when it comes to uh, the apps within Drive because I am going to do a specific one for Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, but I wanted you to know that they are here. They are amazing. You can upload folders or uh, add folders to kind of personalize here, and you see my folders here. View wise, you can have them as tiles or you can have them in a list view. Um, also, you have quick access the things that you are currently or have just recently worked on. There is a way to take this off, which is the, the way that I prefer it, and I actually prefer my grid view. Um, so, if you go to settings, settings here. And then if you go down here to suggestions, uh, make the relative uh, files handy when you need them in quick access. If you remove that, you can just have all of your files and documents. So um, I'm going to pop into my regular one. And I'm going to do the same here. All right, so that's with the views. Now I wanted to talk about how you can kind of organize it to make it your own. So you can uh, upload files and folders from your computer. Um, you can just pick and choose whatever you'd like. If you wanted a whole folder or a whole file, however you'd like it, you can create. Um, you can do these things a, a couple of ways. You can hit the new, you can hit drive my drive up here or you can just right click on the screen which is the way that I like it it's just so much easier if I'm in when I'm in a folder I can go ahead and right click and add whatever I need to now also when you have all of these folders um, it's kind of tough to determine with all of the grays is what it usually is you can actually come in right click and you can change those colors to whatever you want them to be. So if you wanted them to stand out, you can change the color and make it however you'd like. Also, uh, if you'd like to have easier access to certain files and folders that you use on a regular basis, you can right click on them and you can put add star. So that one's already a star for me. So I just removed it. You can add to starred and then they'll all be on this uh, tab right here. So you can access everything uh, quickly there. 
And that's pretty much it for the organization part of it. Um, you can always right click and uh, move to a specific folder. You can move it to a whole different folder. Um, and it, it's pretty uh, easy to kind of um, play around with. You can open with and there are a bunch of other options you can share as well and we'll go into that actually right now so sharing options i think this is a huge um benefit to you know what you're doing here as well so let's just say all right so let's just say we want to share uh this folder and all of its contents you can share by right clicking and clicking share or click on it and click share here and let's go ahead and share with my other email, josiecruzatl at gmail.com. You can write a message if you need to, um, and you can notify them. You can have them as an editor or just a viewer or just a commenter, a viewer and a commenter. So editor would be full access. You can also click settings here and the editors can change permissions and share. Um, so if you don't want them sharing with other people, you can remove that. That way they're just able to edit, but they can't share uh, with other people. You'll send, and what's, once it is shared, it'll have a little person on there. And that is my phone letting me know I have gotten something so I am going to pop in just so that you see how it looks on the other account the person receiving they're actually going to get it in the shared with me so you'll see that this forms was shared with them and you guys can pretty much collaborate on uh, any of these things so let's just go ahead and create a new document create and share and this is the second account. They can go ahead and be editing this. And if I flip over to my account, that new document is going to be added to mine. And when they're in there, I can tell that they're in there. You see Josie Cruz, that is the other person. So we can all at the same time be editing this, adding to it, and the other person will simultaneously see what's going on. So um, it updates automatically, saves immediately. That's an awesome thing about being able to use it. So I'm not going to go too into it, but I wanted to let you see how the share thing kind of went. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, move this to trash because I really don't want that there and I'm back in my drive. Now, another cool thing about being able to share, so we went in and we shared this forms, we can actually go up here and view the activity. So if they change something, they did something, you can see what they've done on here, so vice versa. They can see if you've changed anything in here um, or updated. Now, another cool thing, if you go to uh, Chrome, extensions there you go and you go to the store and you do uh, Google Drive save to Google Drive add to Chrome that extension it's going to be added right up here I'm going to pin this so that I see it at all times. Now, if I were to uh, go a uh, YouTube icon and images, and I wanted to save this to my drive, I can now do that. Save this, save the link to drive, save the image to drive. So I could save the image to my drive, pick the drive I wanna save to, allow, and it's going to go right there. You can change if you want to um, kind of go into this and uh, do some edits. But if you pop back in, 
you'll go to my drive and it'll be there for you. Um, also, if you are on a web page and you wanted to save this entire page to drive, you could do that as well. You can rename it, do whatever you'd like, and then when you hop back into your drive, you've got this entire uh, page as a PDF. If you wanted to maybe take notes um, from it at a later time, you can do that. Now, another great feature is when it comes to um, sending emails. Uh, so with Drive here, I'm going to compose. Um, when you're in your drive, when you're in your Gmail, you can actually insert files using Drive. Now, the reason that you'd want to do that is because when you attach from your computer into Gmail, it only allows you to uh, upload 25 megabytes. So by uploading from your drive, it'll allow you to attach up to 10 gigabytes of data. Um, so you could go in and uh, let's just do that, this, that, this, um, and then insert. It'll attach all of those. And when you go to send it to someone, send, it'll allow you to share with that person, um, share with this one person to just view. They can comment on these things. They can edit these things. Um, or you can just turn on, uh, turn the link sharing on. Um, so it's just view and it's only a link. Um, and you can go ahead and send it off to them. Another cool thing about uh, having Drive and using it for your documents, your sheets, your slides or uh, PowerPoints, um, wherever you are on the web, if you wanted to start a new document, you could type doc.new and it'll create a new document for you. You could do sheets or sheet.new and it'll create a new Excel spreadsheet version of, of, of Google's version of Excel spreadsheets. Um, if you do deck.new, it'll start a whole new slide or PowerPoint presentation for you. And if you do form.new, you can create a whole new form. Now, another great thing about Google Drive is you can actually um, convert an Excel spreadsheet into a Sheets spreadsheet. If you don't have uh, Microsoft Word and all of that, like I don't, um, you're not really able to edit things, right? So you can actually, I'm going to put this on this side of my screen and that on that side of my screen. So if you had uh, an Excel spreadsheet that you wanted to use within your uh, drive and you you can't edit you know you'll just click and drag it and it'll upload it right so this is uploaded it, if you're you'll double click you can open with google sheet you can now use it for Excel for free. Um, it puts it into a Google Sheet and you can edit and do whatever you need to to that, um, that Excel. Okay, so last but not least and my very favorite part of Google Drive is being able to have it on your desktop so that you can easily access all of your files and also if you're downloading from your computer, you can save them to your drive opposed to saving them to your uh, folder in your desktop. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So you'll go settings, get drive for desktop. You'll go down and download. You'll uh, read the terms and agree and download. Once this is done, you'll click it and allow it to install. There you go. All right, now once it's complete, you'll hit close and it should populate right down here. 
give it a second to think. Like it's thought. If it doesn't uh, pop up there, you'll click here. If it doesn't pop up here, you'll just go to search and you'll search backup and sync from Google and you'll open it. And it will upload, it will uh, link to down here. So you see this little cloud, that'll be your Google. So since I already have a Google account here, um, it's already linked, uh, you will actually prob probably have to sign in, which I'm going to show you how it would look on your end. I'm just going to click here and add new account. And this is what you'll see. Get started. You'll put your email address. And it'll uh, allow you to choose uh, what you want backed up. So um, it really depends on what you want. I personally am just going to um, do the smallest. I've really, this is just as an example. So you might want to do all of these, right? I'm going to do the smallest here because I don't really want this backed up. Um, and the reason that I'm actually choosing something is because you're able to see exactly where it is once you have chosen. So um, you can actually choose folders uh, that you, that you want. So uh, you can kind of play around with this. You could do high quality or the original quality. You can uh, choose to sync up with your um, photos as well. You'll hit next, got it. And then this is where it's going to live uh, within your folders. Um, so it'll be in users and then your username Google Drive, and it'll look like that with your email. The reason that it has this here is because I have another one that's TC by Josie, um, so it puts it in parentheses for this new account. You can change it and um, put it wherever you'd like, but I'm going to leave it there, and then we will um, start. You'll see here that it's got its wheels turn in and it is starting to back up, back up, uh, and sync is setting up. Perfect. So yours will probably start syncing immediately. You'd probably have a, a bunch of stuff that starts syncing. There you are. the way that you get it up here in your quick access is go down to Windows, C Drive, Users, your username, and it'll populate here. You'll right click and then pin to quick access. It'll populate right here. You can drag it to the very top if you'd like. And then if you hover over it, you can differentiate between your different accounts. You can do this uh, for as many drives as you'd like, um, and it will back it up here. And you can access these all over the world on your phone, on your computer, on another computer. As long as you have your login information, you can always access these. And if you're online downloading things, you can download it right into here opposed to your desktop. And that's that. All right, so that is all I have for you for Google Drive. Stay tuned, make sure you uh, hop back next week. I will be doing Google Docs, I believe, and all of the amazing things you can do within that as well. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If this is your first time, I will be sharing tips and tricks every so often. Um, and don't judge me, this is my onesie. It's my superstar onesie, um, but it's cold. so. I'm being comfortable. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.